Hi guys, Zach here with another Commander Conquer Red Alert video. In this game, I'm playing a 3v3 match on the map Super Bridgehead. It's top V bottom, and I'm currently starting in the top left position. There's some good players in this game with me on the north. There's Bambi Cupcake and Dead Eye Darren. On the south, there's Kenny Bang Bang, Pig My Nose, and I call him Comic because I'm not sure how to pronounce his full name. For those of you who play Super Bridgehead, you'll know if you start in the top left position that you start just above the prey to the south. So it's really important at this point that I get my infantry out and in position as quickly as possible because I don't want my opponent scouting my base. On this map there's a mixture of ore and gems, so I'll be able to get my second war factory out before my second ore refinery. And I'm just getting my troops in position there and making sure I block all entrances. It's actually quite a good position to defend because of that big lake to the south, but my opponent is just south of that lake. And I'm just going to be sending a few infantry forward just to get as much scouting as I can. Kenny Bang Bang is a player playing just south of the lake, and as I expected, he will have infantry blocking all the routes. But I may as well try if I don't try. I don't know. Sometimes uh, good players make mistakes. Right, I'm going to go for just for one ore truck at the start. And this is because of how close the opponent is. Um, if I go for two ore trucks and he attacks, then I will be screwed. And um, because I'm not going for only one ore truck uh, straight away, what I'm going to need to make sure I'm doing is trying to micromanage the ore trucks a little bit to make sure they're mining more of the gems. I'm going to need to build an ore silo after this war factory and the reason for that is if you only have one ore refinery you don't have much storage for ore so if they were to drop off one after the other with gems then I would lose some of that ore. I saw some blue troops near my base which means that Pig My Nose is keeping an eye out on this side of the map. Commie is located on the other side of the map so I think he'll be fighting my teammates. Right, I'm putting those small power plants out. I'm just expanding to the second ore and gem patch, which is where I'll place my second ore refinery, which I'm currently building. As you can see, I'm going for light tanks to start with. I've got quite a few out, and I'm probably going to put them on this left side of the base, because I think that's mo the most common place to attack. I know my opponents haven't been able to get any scouts in from what I've noticed, so they probably won't see my light tanks then. They won't know which side to come from. Since I have one less ore truck than I would usually have at this stage, it is going to be a bit longer until I build my third war factory, because you need to build that third war factory in longer games for the increased tank building speed. And my teammate is just put in the chat that he's been set back a bit, which means he's been attacked by Kami. So if they're attacking on the right side of the map, then I should just probably apply a pressure to the left side of the map. So I'm going to take my tanks down here to fight Kenny Bang Bang. It looks like he's gone for light tanks as well. He's got a few infantry there, but they're no problem. There's not many of them. And it's looking quite good now. It sort of uh, seems a bit even at the moment. Uh, we've got similar tank numbers. And I think what I'm going to go for is I'm looks like I'm just down a little bit. So I'm going to go for the ore trucks. And the reason I'm going for the ore trucks is to cut his ore off so he can't make as many tanks. So that's one ore truck down. Let's see if we can get a second one. And now we can start fighting again. But now what will happen is I should be getting more tanks in. That's a third up war ore refinery down, which means I now have four raw trucks collected all. And it looks like Kenny has the upper hand a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the tanks around and I'm going to move them down under his base a bit. So what I'm doing is I'm just delaying ta ta a bit now so I can make more tanks in the meantime. So I'm just going to move them down to his base. I'm going to get a bit more scouting, see exactly how many your troops he has in total. So I'm just... And you can see the blue, Pick My Nose, is also entering the fight. And he's got some medium tanks there. And now I'm getting my next ore refinery down. That means I've got now got five ore trucks collecting ore. So I'll have a good ore supply um, for the time being. And you can see I was just moving those tanks. I've delayed it a little bit. It's given me some time to make some more tanks. And he's replaced another ore refinery. You can see Kenny's still got five ore trucks. So he has gone for a little bit more of an economic approach than I have. And we're just keeping on trying to get rid of those ore trucks. Now I can see that Kenny actually has three war factories. I've only got two, but he won't have the economy at the moment to keep them running. And you can see he's going for my base, so it's going to be a good old who can destroy each other's base the fastest. I have the advantage of already being at Kenny's base, but Kenny has the advantage of having slightly more tanks. 
at the time being. So the first thing I'm going for is the construction yard and the war factories. And that's important to stop his tank production so he can't get any more units to my base. And you can see that Pick My Nose Blue is coming in for the fight as well. So can these war factories have gone? He's not going to be able to build any more tanks. And now I just need to go for the ore refineries. So he's got three ore refineries and one small power plant left. And I've got an ore refinery just built. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and place that very, very quickly. Um, just to give him another building to destroy. And we've got... That's power plant's gone, that ore refinery. And we're on the last ore refinery. And it looks like Pink Eye knows I've just had enough tanks. And he's going to stop me being able to destroy that last building. And that's me out of the game so that was a close match only one war fac only one or refinery in it and it was at uh, yellow health so that's me out of the game my teammates are still alive um, and they must be they be fighting on the right against Kami. as you can see orange still have quite a lot of tanks left and they're currently at the top of the map which is very dangerous because he'll be able to get round the back of the base however He's only got one ore refinery and if that gets destroyed then he, all his tanks will disappear because the game is set on destroy structures. And it looks like Comic is destroyed so the question is now it's 2v2 can my teammates destroy Orange's ore refinery before he comes round the back and destroys their bases. And we can see that Orange have already made it to Red's base, so they'll be destroying Red's base as we speak. And we can see that Cyan doesn't have any construction yard, so he's been set back a lot. And we'll need to see where are Cyan and Red at the moment, because they're not at the base. Um, Red's going to be destroyed before too long, so can they destroy that ore refinery? And you can see that Red and Cyan are attacking Blue's base for the time being. And what they need to do is they need to go up a little bit and destroy that ore refinery. Because if they destroy that ore refinery, they will get rid of of orange and then they'll be in a good position because there will be 2v1 so they're fighting pick my nose at the moment and as we can see pick my nose has quite a lot of tanks available at the moment and it looks like bambi cupcake has been eliminated so this is quite bad because we know that cyan don't have much left and we can see that the orange tanks from kenny bang bang are going to be at his base shortly and it looks like it's going to be unfortunately over for this game so well played for the other team there uh, Kenny Bang Bang had the upper hand in terms of tank numbers to me and when we were destroying each other's bases I think Blue noticed that I was um, doing quite well and Blue came up to help his teammate also Kami managed to survive long enough because he was against two players on the right he survived longer than me and gave his team the upper hand because then uh, Kenny Bang Bang was able to get to their bases early on so that was a good game quite close right this is the second match again it's a 3v3 match on the map super bridgehead i'm playing with the same players as last time but it's slightly different teams we put it on random teams and also random positions and i'm starting in the middle which is possibly the worst place to start on this map because it means you can get attacked quite a lot so on my team there is kenny bang bang and dead eye darren and the opposing team is Kami, pick my nose and bambi cupcake and we can just see as we've seen to the top left of my base there is dead eye darren which puts it takes a bit of pressure off me because that means there's only two sides which they can attack from and the top side is going to be pretty safe for now and i'm just going for probably similar tactics to what i did last time and i'm getting the infantry set out early on even though this map's quite a large map it does seem you do seem to appear quite close to your opponent's bases and i'm just scouting out to the left there just to see if there's a teammate there's six players so there will be two spaces that are blank and we can see that blue are there and that's bambi cupcake and you can just see i'm setting my rifleman on his construction yard i'm not exactly trying to destroy it just distracting him a little bit and providing a bit of annoyance hopefully it'll distract him and slow him down and it seems like he's not responded so i'll put another a rifleman on his war construction yard with my war factory i'm going to go for the same as i did last time i'm going to go one or truck and then i'm going to go for light tanks and we can see that blue are currently going up the map they're going towards red space so dead eye darren's going to need to be careful um, I'm going to get some inf more infantry out. And you can see that also green are going into red, sp uh, red space. That's Tommy. And he's got a pillbox down, so that'll help him a little bit. And we're going to need to mobilise my infantry. 
As we can see that red's been able to deal with green, and um, so it's only blue left now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for blue's base. Blue's base is close to mine, and red's base. So I'm going to attack him. Sometimes attacking your opponent um, when they're attacking your player is the best thing you can do, because what it'll do is it'll distract him, and he might have to bring his troops back, and he'll be more focused on his own base rather than my allies' base. Cool. And he saw me, so he's going to be my go in that auto now to try and defend his own base. And he's got light tanks as well, so he's got his tanks there. And I think we're going to have that destroyed. And you can see his infantry are just standing there now, so that's okay for us. And he's now fully focused on defending his own base. So I just need to get rid of these infantry. I can get try and get rid of that auto truck. And is that auto truck going to go down? Now that is big. That is going to really disrupt Blue's economy a lot. And we're just going to keep on moving around. I am going to need to also be focused on my base because we do have Kommy behind me. And Blue has retired from that. So you can see sometimes it's very important that if you do, if your opponent does attack your allies base attacking their base is sometimes the best thing you can do and um, we've uh, won that battle there you do have to be aware that if you go for your opponent's base you do wait you do leave your own base unprotected and this is coming coming down now so great uh, green is coming and he's got light tanks it looks like he's got the greater number at the moment and um, so i'm going to need to hopefully be able to defend against this and we can see that he's going for red space at the moment he's going for the construction yard is he going to get it down it looks like so and he's got Red's construction yard, so he won't be able to build any more buildings. However, Red does have some pillboxes around his base, which is going to help him a lot. Pillboxes are quite a good defence when you have a light tank rush. And we can see the green are moving around. I think they're cheating for the time being. And I'm going to need to be careful because it could come to the other side of my base. And as you can see, all the time, I'm just placing down more ore refineries. And I'm going to move to pillboxes now and um, because I think these light tanks might be coming for me next and he might try and get some ore trucks here possibly i'm going to put some light uh, pillboxes on the other side of my base just in case and um, i get attacked from the back and we can see down there that's kenny bang bang and we're going to need to be careful here because Kommy is going to go for kenny bang bang while he's outside his base because we can see he must be attacking someone else somewhere else so i'm going to put, bring my light tanks down and hopefully provide some support yeah, so you can see the greens are there, they're going straight for the ore refineries and ore trucks. So I'll just bring my tanks in now. And there's not too many tanks from green here, so we should be okay. You can see I'm outnumbering him in tanks currently. And he's going through the main parts of the base. And I think the construction yard here is going to be okay. So let's see, can green get the construction yard? He's got three tanks there. And um, well, four to, and a fourth tank, but he can't get through. And it's going down, it's down to red now. And there's only one two, or two tanks left. And it's been sold, so Kenny Bang Bang sold his construction yard there. But um, he is still in a good position because he's still got his war, he's still got his war factories and his ore refineries intact. And we can see Red going onto the attack at Kommy's base now. Kommy's got quite a few tanks there, and it, I don't think this attack will be enough to destroy him. And I'm just getting another ore refinery down yet again. I've got quite a good of, lot of ore refineries right now, so my economy is going well. You can see my ore stocks are very, very high, and another, I'm going to get a power plant because I'm low on power. And I'm going to go and attack Kommy from the other side. Um, as he's defending one side, I'm going to attack from the other, and this should give us the upper hand. I've, actually, I should probably build another war factory, and because I've got plenty of ore available, I can accommodate that faster building speed and it looks like it's pretty much over now and um, it's just a case of destroying green space green has a lot of tanks but his main buildings have now been destroyed so he's got no ore coming in and he's got no ah he does have ore coming in actually he's got an ore refinery up there that was a bit hidden there but now he's got no war factories i don't think unless there's more hidden up there so he won't be able to build any more buildings and we're going to get this down and Kommy is um, out of the game and I think now it's just pick my nose is the only player left in this match and we can see that his base is almost completely destroyed Orange are coming to attack him and it's just a case of finishing him off 
So in this game, our opponents tried to attack our teammate quite early on, but they didn't quite pull it, off, pull it off. They didn't do enough damage. And they also lost one of the players because of that attack, because I had decided to attack them while they were attacking my teammate. And that's always the danger when you go early on. If you go early on, you do need to make sure you do enough damage. And that looked like the last building. I don't know, there must be something somewhere. I don't think he has another MCV. I don't I didn't see any service depots and he wouldn't really build it at this stage of the game anyway. And there's the pillbox. Right, so that's his last building. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Mission accomplished.